The CPI data just came in at 3% last week. This is tremendous news. And there's a lot to unpack here for people thinking about selling a home or buying a home, which I'll explain next. If you get some value out of this or you like what you hear, make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for notifications. And if you want to schedule a call about how CPI data may be affecting your real estate decisions, you can schedule a time to talk with our team with the link in the comments. CPI data, the Consumer Price Index, that's what it means. It came in at 3% for the month of June, down one-tenth of a percent from the previous month. But more importantly, these are the lowest levels we're seeing in three years. Yes, three years. This is tremendous news for everybody that's hoping we're going to see the Fed give us some relief when it comes to where mortgage rates are coming in, where the federal funds rates coming in, because we know mortgage rates react from the market. The Fed doesn't set them. The core CPI data is up one-tenth of a percent since last month, and that's the lowest increase since April of 2021. So again, really great news here. This is all good stuff. So then, of course, Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell, he comes out and talks about this stuff. And what he said is you don't want to adjust rates too soon or too late. Kind of the Goldilocks approach has got to be just right. So then we got a reaction from the chief economist over at the Bright MLS. She said the Fed is going to be very careful in making sure they don't cut rates too soon or too late because if you do that, it might affect inflation. That's their target. They want a 2% target. And it's the Goldilocks approach. What she also said is now there are escalated expectations that the Fed is ready to cut rates and maybe it's on the table for the month of July. I wouldn't be so sure about that. That's me personally. I'd expect something in the fall. So we're seeing this lagged inflation data is finally coming back down to where the Federal Reserve is trying to get it to, which is right around 2%. So the good news here is that rate cuts are back on the table. And what that means is when the Fed cuts rates, the expectation would be we see mortgage rates come down as well. So what does this mean for people thinking about making a move in the market? So if I'm a seller right now, I'm watching this very closely because if rates come down, we're going to see all the sellers who are locked into their current home. Some people are going to say, you know what? If mortgage rates are down to the five, five and a half range, I'm okay with that, even though I might lose my 3% or 2% loan because I need to make a move based on my needs and wants. I'm going to put a chart up here for you. Nick will put it up. It's about what's going on and, and why people make moves uh, based on a bright MLS survey. And you can see a lot of it's based on family reasons. So that's going to be pretty critical. So if I'm a seller, I'm watching this. If I see the Fed start cutting rates, I'm worried that more inventory may come to the market. We've already seen it grow through the month of May in terms of supply in the greater Philadelphia area by 27%, 27.1 to be exact. So the inventory is coming. And because of that, if I'm a buyer, what I'm also looking at is if I'm waiting on the sidelines for rates to come down and rates do drop, there's probably a whole bunch of people just like me that want to get into the market. Lower rates will create more of a frenzy in the market. So what that's going to do is create more competition for sellers and for buyers. One of the things we've heard from a lot of our clients right now is I have time to make a decision. I can negotiate things. I can even get some contingencies attached to an offer. That may go away if the Fed does in fact cut rates and we see this play out even more as inflation gets closer to 2%. So the whole point here is don't be waiting for the Fed to make a real estate decision. Jerome Powell's not going to save you when it comes to real estate. Don't be waiting for the market to make a move. You want to look at what's going to be best for you and then have some exploratory conversations with a local agent that understands your market. And that's going to help you best navigate everything moving forward.